I'm interested in nature because it's that's where I feel I come from. By connecting up with it, I feel like I'm part of something much larger. My name is Kathy Levine and I'm a mixed media artist and I live and work in Brooklyn, New York. And this is my studio. The nature aspect, I think, comes from that I didn't grow up in an urban environment. So for me, nature is something that I feel like I am connected to. And then when I was in New York, when I moved here, I didn't find that much nature. When I first came, I thought the city was a very scary place. It just seemed very overwhelming to me with a lot of tension in it. I did find some in different places like empty lots in Brooklyn have a lot of nature and little weeds and things that grow there. Finding na natural areas in the city was comforting. It was like I identified with those little weeds and things that were growing and living there. And I sort of felt like I was struggling in a similar way to those little plants, the way they were struggling to survive in the city or an urban environment. That actual, you know, relationship that I started between nature and the urban environment was one that kind of I've kept going in my work. As I go along in my work, I, it becomes, you know, different. I'm sort of interested in what that relationship entails. Sometimes it brings me, because nature is so complicated and so is the city environment, that the two things um, are always interacting in different ways that are kind of exciting and interesting. And when I started out, I saw nature as, you know, flourishing in like a urban environment that was very hostile to it. But now I see it more as the two kind of are in some sort of strange balance with each other. Um, even though the urban environment kind of dominates the natural one, the natural one kind of exists underneath and remains viable, even though we put more and more stuff on top of it. Actually, some of my pieces are directly about that, like the city cell pieces are about, you see like a natural form, which is made out of cast paper like a hand or a face or a branch underneath the photo transfer on top, which is the world that we create. But underneath is the natural world, which is surviving, even though we're doing some horrible things <laughs> sometimes to it. So this piece um, was done from the top of the Empire State Building, the actual photographs, and there are about 139 separate photo transfers in this piece. The circles and the cracks in the wood all kind of radiate outward from the center. And so it made me feel like nature and the urban environment were somehow connected. When I came to New York City, I had started to study photography. I became more interested in the sculptural and textural aspects of things. So I moved from photography to working with cast paper. I work with, um, mostly with recycled cast paper. Actually, I had to figure just about everything out 
<laughs> in terms of how to make the paper, how to make it stay together, how to place it over a mold. Couching part. <laughs> Couché. I place it over um, natural or artificially constructed molds that I make. Once I have the three-dimensional shape of the mold, I then remove it. On top of the paper, I put um, painting. You know, I paint on top of the paper. I also add different materials like photo transfers and wood and branches and bark and all kinds of things. I actually take photographs and then I make copies of them and then I use a, a, an emulsion that I coat on the, the photographs and then I um, am able to, after the emulsion is dry on the copy, I'm able to remove the paper from both sides, which leaves a very thin skin with the image embedded in the emulsion. So I've actually achieved, um, and I've been trying to do this, an integration of uh, of the photographs with the paper and the painting and the other materials in a similar way that I'm trying to integrate the natural and the urban environments. So it's kind of been sort of a parallel journey with the two, with my process and also with my ideas and concepts. Kind of painting the area around it to sort of look like the environment where it comes from. You know, in this case, this was like a volcanic rock area. And these things were growing out of those rocks. You use not actually cover the whole piece with um, a photo transfer. I, I'm thinking that I'll probably paint most of this area here. And that, that's petrified wood, it's actually stone. A lot of my later work became more sculptural and I guess three-dimensional. And some of them even freestanding. Some of the pieces hang, move, kind of are suspended from branches or nylon line. The pieces also became uh, more complicated in terms of what was happening on the surface. I feel like a lot of times, you know, when I make a piece, I'm actually working through you know, my ideas um, and my, how I feel about what's going on. I'm very um, optimistic, I guess, about that, even though there's a part of me that feels like, are we going to be able to save the earth in time?